Hey everybody, welcome back to Shapes.io. I'm Joe Mama, your host. Here's what's going on right now in the world of my Shapes.io game. You can see these little, you can see lots of the little Red Bull rockets tooling into the, uh, tooling into the hub. You can see our little washing machines here are actually collecting them. I set up a storage area so that um, when the time comes for level 26, which is going to be these shapes again, that I've got the required 50,000 ready to go. Basically, I wanted to do that. Um, so, uh, because, let's take a look. If we go here, we can see that they're required for tier upgrades, but um, I was actually having a little trouble. These were coming in hard and fast, but then the uh, the level 20 shapes were taking time, and then these I, these tier 18 shapes were taking time. So I thought, well, I'm getting an excess of these Red Bull rockets, so let me go ahead and um, let me actually store some away because there's not really much sense in, in you know having an excess of them. So let me go ahead and store them. I know I'm going to need them, and just make it easier when level 26 happens. So. So I was doing that. That's what these storage units are for. I've never used them before, so it's kind of interesting. But anyway, where we're at, we're actually getting ready to uh, solve level 23, where you're asking yourself, well, what about level 22? Well, level 22 was pretty straightforward, as most of them are, actually. So take a look. It just looked kind of like this little parking meter display, really. And as you can see, I mean, I don't even have to hit the info, but I can see that it's a green quarter circle, red quarter circle, a uh, white half circle, and then on top of that is a quarter of a yellow star, and on top of that is half of a yellow circle. And let me go ahead and release them back in. Not that it really matters, but because we're probably not going to need it again. But... Uh, these are all basically components. There's the green quarter circle, we've got the green half circle, and all of these things made a massive... My goodness, the game save takes forever. Um, they get welded together, and then the, uh, the meter part of it... I call it a meter. I mean, it does. It looks like a little parking meter thing. Um, all of those come from here, and we've got the white... I'm sorry, the yellow half circles getting welded on top of them. And over here we've got the white half circle and the, uh, and the basically yellow needle. That's what it looks like. It looks like a needle. So, yeah, pretty simple stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. Thank goodness for cut and paste. And then I've got like 500,000 of these, uh, you know, currency shapes saved up so I can use the uh, the cut and paste option pretty liberally. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, just a whole lot of cut and paste. And as you can see here, I've got this these assemblies set up to cut these yellow stars up into quarters, and then you've got the little needle. It looks like a little yellow needle. And I've got the white circles here. Um, but what we're going to do, take a look at this other shape here. Um, you can kind of see it. Let's go ahead and hit the info for it. And I mean, it, it should be obvious, but look at it. It kind of looks like this blue and yellow or turquoise and yellow flower. And uh, it's basically the same shape, rotated 90 degrees each way and then stacked in successive layers for three layers. That's, that's pretty straightforward. So all we have to do is make this shape and then take the um, take copies of it and just stack them. I mean, that's stupid easy. And what makes what really helps is we already have the yellow uh, yellow points points of the star the quarter star is already being made so really all we need to do is make the turquoise circle and I had a thought about that uh, let's see was it here no I don't think it was here that I was going to do it or maybe it was no 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 this is already being taken care of this is. I mean, I suppose we could use it. We're not going to need, we're not going to need this little uh, striped shape anymore. I mean, I suppose we could take materials from here and use it. We're not going to need this shape anymore, so we could take that. But I actually had another place identified, and if I could just find it, and I think it was right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We need turquoise, which is green and blue. 
So I'm thinking we just use this color mixer and we take away the red. So I think we can actually cut the red off right here. And let's go ahead and actually just delete this whole thing right there. Actually, not the, not the tunnels. Let's just, let's just delete the red. Just delete it like that. And then um, actually, yeah, maybe we will delete Maybe we will delete the color mixers. Well, we kind of have to delete the color mixers because we want the green to continue down this way. So let's do this. Let's delete the color mixers and let's just turn them into straight belts. I think that's the way to go. So now we've got green and it's gonna come down here and it's gonna mix with the blue. It should already mix them with the blue. That gives us turquoise. Fantastic. So now we're gonna have a whole bunch of turquoise circles and that makes our job easier because then all we need to do is bring these down here, these needles down here and mix with our blue circles. And then we just gotta come up with a quick device that's going to, uh, that's going to put together, basically cut them up into quarter circles and reassemble them into uh, into this shape. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. I don't. Um, we, you know what? Look at this. Oh, you know what? This this is going to be perfect. This is going to be perfect. These this is going to make the shape we want. Okay. And I'm kind of thinking it's time to delete. You know, or we can just let it go. We can just let it go. That's fine, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we want the shape in turquoise, perfect. And really, instead of this red, we just want them, we want, we, instead of red circles, we want yellow stars. Why am I thinking of a Lucky Charms commercial? Yeah, so here's what we can do. We can bring in this trunk of uh, belts with the needles on it and we can bring it down here and uh, feed it into here that's what I'm thinking and I'm thinking for that to happen we just go ahead and delete this yes okay we don't need the tunnels we just need we just need the belts and now we could delete this path right here but I'm disinclined to do that I don't want to, I mean, it's a, it's a nice, neat path of belts, and I don't want to delete it if I can avoid it. So let's do this. Oops, no, we don't want to copy that. Although maybe we do. Um, let's delete. And then what we're actually going to do, we're actually going to have to delete this too. it! Like I said, I'm a pack rat. I don't like to delete all this stuff. So that's some thoughts while we sit here and do this. Um, thought might be interesting. Now, for those of you who are wondering, Factorio isn't going away. I mean, I know I've, I've put out these. Oh, this is perfect. I could just use these. Um, Factorio isn't going away. So I've been doing a lot of these shapes.io videos. I realize that. And I hope y'all don't think that I'm all of a sudden just shifting gears. But um, no, I'll explain why exactly I'm doing this. Um, so, well, first of all, let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about YouTube. And, um, okay, yeah, so basically I want to bring this down into here. And YouTube is fun. I enjoy doing this, and I enjoy playing games. So uh, YouTube is nice. It kind of scratches the itch to be a little artsy. Um... And, uh, and of course, then you've got playing games, which of course I love to do. I'm a game player, but, so I love Factorio, but if I'm being completely honest, there's not, um, okay, so it, co it goes this way, so I can use this corner. Yes, cut and paste. So was, I love my series, and, but, uh, I also, you know, I also like projects. I like making a successful project. Okay, I think we just did it. I think we just did it. I love making a successful project. And some of you know, I 
Oh, right. I stack and I cut and I... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I, what I wanted to do was actually bring in... Um, was actually bring in complete stars. And uh, okay, so I kind of fudged up a little bit. I actually wanted to bring all these stars in rather than just the needles. But I can do that, actually. Why don't we do that? So, let's delete that. Um, but, uh, but I also enjoy projects. I enjoy being successful at projects, and YouTube is a little bit of a project. So I don't just enjoy the artsy side of it. I mean, I run a business, and I have to say, it's the one of the it's it's fun being creative. I love building what we build, but I also love the fact that we've discovered a niche where we can fit in, and I love filling that niche. Okay, so now this, this creates a little bit of a problem, so now I have to somehow clear this of all of its garbage. So, I think what we do is... Um, we do this. Um, and uh, YouTube I see as sort of a project in a way too, as I love it, I, I like the idea of, be, of having it be successful. So, a while back, as some of you know, I, I played this game a little bit, and I discovered, you know, it's like, oh, it's fun. It's an okay game. I wouldn't call it my favorite game. Um, in fact, if I'm really being completely honest, if I, what, if I say what is no crap, my favorite game, I'm probably going to be something along the lines of TIE Fighter and X-Wing. Those games were great. X-Wing was absolutely awesome back in the back in the early 90s, mid 90s, and then um, and then Tie Fighter came out, and it was actually even better. I mean, I, if that's even possible, playing the Empire, you know, as traditional, want to play the Rebellion, of course, but even playing the Empire, it was it, it the game became even more fun. I don't know how to describe it, but it was just absolutely freaking awesome. Let's see, will that help it? Let me see if, if I put this here. Is that going to help it? That's what I want to happen. I want to basically trash everything. And then... Um, I don't know what just happened. So did I just fix it? Probably not. No. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, actually, is take this. So, I mean, if... We talk about the games we want to play. Then, for me, that would be... To, I mean, if I could play whatever game I want and everybody would treat, treat the games equally, then I would say my favorite game would be TIE Fighter. I mean, hands down. I've got some other favorites, but that would be the game I just... If, if everybody would respond the same, that's the game I would play. But, you know, this is the modern era. Or <laughs> modern to to us at here and now. Okay, let's see. Is that going to work? Yes. Um, there we go. That is going to do it. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. 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 Yes. Awesome. And it's actually going to stack these puppies. I just need to kill one layer, don't I? Um... Thing is, it's it's yeah, it's it's not going to be what we need. I just need to make a slight adjustment, but um, yeah. So it's it's not the game everybody wants to see. The game games people want to see are a, you know AAA games, and for some reason, and Minecraft is one game that's you know it's it's out there. People people like it. I'm going to leave that that uh, template there. Um, and uh, the games that do really well aren't always the games that we would like to play. So, and again, the itch to make YouTube successful kind of pulls me in two different directions. It's like, well, I want to play my games like Factorio, but I also want to grow my channel. It's just sort of an itch that I want to scratch. So, um, so what I've done... Let me see what this thing looks like, because this is ultimately the output 
and that is over the top we don't want that that is too many layers so what we need to do is um, we need to kill one layer so which layer do we kill I think we kill this Okay, is that going to do it? I don't think that's going to do it, so I think we'd actually need to rotate it. Um, so, oh man, I've keep, got to keep my thoughts together here. Um, so while I do love to play Factorio, it's not always what everybody wants to see, and it just happened, and, and I'm not saying I would just not play what I want to play. Don't get me wrong, um, that's not where I'm going with this. It's just that... Um, Okay, yep, we're starting to get them. We're starting to get them. Yes, so now let me go ahead and switch over this other one. Because we've we've got another shape that's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, actually, come to think of it. I need to make a... I need to make a balancer... Yeah. Okay, so... Um, man, where was I? So yeah, we're not always playing the game that we want to play. I'm not always playing the game that I want to play. I sometimes have to uh, have to adjust fire a little bit. I, I don't necessarily have to. But... Um, I... Uh, thing is, I was playing this game a while back. Okay, that should do it. That should correct it. Yeah. All right. I was playing this game a while back and found out that while it's it's moderately enjoyable, I mean it is enjoyable, it's fun. But I found out that oh, gee whiz, I'm actually kind of uh, I'm kind of successful at doing a thing. And I, as you know, I think the first video I ever did that got a hundred views in 24 hours was this game. It was solving uh, this gray and white shape right here. And, uh, oops, there it goes, saves. I gotta change the setting. Um, I gotta change the saving interval. It saves all the freaking time. So, obviously, we'd have to make more of these shapes to, to increase this output. And I suppose I could do that. I mean, look at this. It's not, they're not making them terribly fast. So, I think we could probably get away with it. Let's see how it's stacking up. Everything just, well, except here. It's not really stacking up here. It might, though. It might later on. Um, but yeah, so it was clear that, uh, well, I mean, that game, this game apparently is, was a hot item and somebody, a bunch of people wanted to see it and I basically struck while the iron was hot and I found out that I could contribute to the, uh, I could contribute to the community and when I did, the reception was really good. If, and, uh, if I look and compare, okay, this is starting to stack up. So if we add another stacker, I think we could, I think we could uh, increase our throughput. Um, so let's see. Let me grab that right there um, and do this. I so I thought the re the reception was really good. So I'm I realized I was on to something. And I just kind of thought I would roll with it. And, um, yeah, like I said, the, the likes on that video were... Uh, I mean, um, if I look at the likes on the Factorio videos, if I look at the views on the Factorio videos, the views are, eh, mediocre. I mean, I would they're either single digits or in the very low double digits. And the likes, I mean... Uh, it hardly gets any likes and one of the things that makes for a successful video on YouTube is the uh, interactive you know, how interactive people are with the video it's for those you know free lesson for you if you're interest interested the way YouTube determines whether or not your video is something that uh, that uh, YouTube wants to share has to do with how good of a creator you are how interactive of a creator you are and if uh, if you're an interactive creator, or if people are interacting with it, 
that's why I try to respond to all comments and everything. If people are interacting with it, if you're interacting with them, then YouTube is more likely to share it. They share it a little bit initially and test the waters. And if the reception is good, it increases the, your audience. That's the way YouTube works. And, uh, and that's what was happening with these videos that I was making for Shapes. And um, I realized that. And then when they did the update, I thought, oh, well, if there's any new shapes, let me let me see if there's if I can use my knowledge and contribute to the uh, to the community. And sure enough, that was indeed the case. And um, so basically, it's you strike while the iron's hot and get the get the videos on that content out there. And it's kind of nice to see that happen. I mean, if I'm if I really look at my past back when I had this channel before it was uh, I rebooted it I deleted it and rebooted it because just family stuff going on and I probably wasn't the best decision okay let's see if let's see if this is keeping up now um, but uh, if I could do it differently I would have and kept a lot of my content but one thing about my content was I had over probably 600 videos but I had all of you know I think I was peaking at about 400 subscribers and it was a I had rapid growth toward the end but I realized streaming was something that I couldn't keep up with so I stopped streaming and the growth stopped and I realized that most of the subscribers I had were streamers were people who wanted to watch streams and nothing else and that's kind of dangerous for your channel um, but anyway so I decided that I would re restart the channel and this time I'm going to concentrate on videos and um, which are handled differently by YouTube and if you look now I th as currently the subscriber count is right around 140 and I, this is all fourth wall stuff and I'm sorry to bore you with it uh, hopefully maybe if you guys are aspiring you know youtubers um, maybe you'll learn from it so I'm just I'm just chatting here really I'm j and I'm also trying to keep up with the throughput here and seeing where we're at Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put one of these right here. There we go. That's going to help a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll put them like that. Just, I, I, a three-way balancer going from four to three is a little bit tough. So, um, But yeah, anyway. Um, so I thought that... Uh, I want to I want to try to to figure this YouTube thing out, not just put out content for people in an artsy way, but also the technical side of me wanted to to work it out. You know what I'm saying? And now we're I think the subscriber count's around 140-ish, and I thank you for all of you who have subscribed. But the um, but let's take a look at the F here. Um, we're at tier 12, 11, 11, 11. But the number of videos I have, I think, is right around 80. So I, the fact that it's, you know what, <laughs> fewer videos. In other words, I've it, each video is averaging, you know, one subscriber more than that. You know, whereas before it was like, what, 600 videos and you know, 400 subscribers means a lot of work for not reaching a lot of people. And I kind of wanted to do better, and it, so far it has been. And uh, the videos I'm doing on this game right now are all over 100 views, which and some of them are over the number of subscribers I have, which is kind of a big deal. Even if every subscriber were watching every video I put out, it would still not be as high as some of the views are on some of these videos, which tells me that people who aren't subscribed are watching, and that's a good thing. That means that means that YouTube is seeing my content favorably and spreading it out to people and suggesting it to people. And I like that. It it's it's like I said, you know, I've we did really well this year with our business, and it's 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 encouraging, and you get a little bit of a high from it, and it's it's invigorating. And so this that kind of feedback from you guys is invigorating for me as a creator. So if I see something that people like, I'm going to to you know jump on it as if within reason if it's something that i too like and shapes yeah shapes has been a good game i enjoy it shapes and colors actually are something i was very strong in as a kid so it's always been a uh, a strong point of mine so this is right up my alley always has been it it appeals to my strong points it appeals to my strengths as uh you know things that i'm good at 
Factorio is the same way. And I want to keep doing it. And I'm going to. It's just that I... All I'm doing right now is I'm going through the levels in this game. And I, and I think there's 26 levels. So this is level 23. And we are... We're about half... We're about one-tenth of the way there. And I'm not going to belabor... We're not going to finish it today. But obviously you can see we're on the way. Level 24 and 25 are similar type shapes. So we'll probably show cuts of those later on but um the big one though is to to just release all of these shapes we're making right here all of these red bull rockets and finish that'll finish level 26 when it shows up i'm just going to drop a um a merger right here boom boom and that's just going to basically mainline these things right into the hub and uh and we'll finish that up and then we'll basically go into free play and that's basically where I want to go. Get to free play and maybe dabble in the wires um, a little bit less uh, less rapid. Not, I won't be releasing videos quite so fast on that. I just want to get to that level. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just pushing through the levels here, showing you my progress. And then um, and then I'm going to kick off Factorio again. I mean, not kick it off, not restart it, but just get back to Factorio. Because Factorio, we had launched the rocket. But we'd, we'd basically, quote, won the game, but I'd like to keep going with it and uh, o open up some space, increase the size of the factory, and um, and really, really open up the rail network, which is what I really enjoy with uh, Factorio, so I want to do that. But anyway, yeah, that's where we're at, and I just wanted to share that with you. Also, speaking of good games, I was watching, I was binging Avak, and uh, he's... I would call him my favorite non-personal friend, professional YouTuber. And he was doing the game Horizon Zero Dawn. And that, I would say, has one of the most engrossing stories I have ever seen. Let's kind of dance around here and see what else is going on. The story with that game is freaking awesome. And I decided that I think... I don't usually do uh, AAA games. Oops. I don't usually do AAA games, but I'm going to play this one. And I, I like indie games, but I'm going to play this one. I don't think I'll do it on camera, though, because it's it's been spoiled, really. It's I haven't seen the end of it, though. I played all of the video... I watched, or rather listened to, all of the videos that Avak did. Um, I can't really watch them too much, but I can play them. Um, and listen to them. But uh, he, as of today his YouTube channel does not have the very last bit of the game and I know that he got on Twitch and he streamed it. I know he completed it and I started actually watching his recorded VOD after he did it but then you, um, Twitch has since deleted it and I wasn't able to finish it so I've got like seven hours of content that I wanted to finish listening to slash watching and um, I can't so that's kind of a pain. By the way this is the current setup for uh, the Red Bull rockets. This is this is what's happening right now. All of these things, man, it's struggling. And I think I need to increase. I think I need to bring in the second belt here. I think we could get these things going faster. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'm really looking forward to him finishing that game. But I want to play it myself. It's not something I typically do, but man, such a great story. So I think I am going to play that. Um, okay, then we do this. And then we do this. There. Um, so yeah, that's a, that looks like fun. If you haven't seen it, if you, you know, check out Avak. Check out his play of the game. Really intelligent dude. I have to say, if you've never seen Avak, he's a, he is a uh, very, very uber intelligent um, gamer. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of gamers out there, but uh, there's a lot of ones, a lot of gamers who are kind of, they're not very good at presenting. I mean, I'm, I, I would consider myself not very good at presenting, but uh, also just I consider myself a pretty intelligent person, but man, some of these people are just dumb as a box of rocks. Or at least pretend to be. Somehow, I guess some people think that's cool, but I don't. And Avak is, is 
freaking awesome to listen to. So, anyway, so watching him play that game was very cool. But, anyway, I um, hope you hope I didn't turn you off. Y'all are still listening. I just wanted to see how far we'd get. Let's check the check the F here now. We're going to tear up on something, and uh, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. And then we'll check out the next shape. So this will probably, with editing, be a fairly short episode. We'll see. I don't know. Have no idea. We didn't do much. But we did get this shape going, and that's cool. Yeah, just trying to see if there's any way I can exploit. Could I actually add another one, maybe? Yeah, just... Just another one. It's this this one leg seemed to be seemed to be stacking up. So I thought, you know what? Maybe we can increase our output just a little bit. I realize it's just you know kind of a goofy way to do it, but why not? Just figured I'd try. But anyway, there we go. Well, we'll leave that for now, and uh, and I think we'll call it an episode. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.